Hey everybody, I'm back! And so is Pink's! Okay, so I got a new planner! So that's just the best place to start. Yeah, she's gonna sit there the whole video. I've tried to film this about twice now. She's very determined. Um, so she's not going anywhere, guys. Um, so I'm an old school planner person. Um, I slowly but surely kind of added embellishments and I'm a junk journaler by habit. So I kind of evolved with all of this happy planner and planner craziness due to people like my mother who are terrible and tell me about things like smash books and then I become obsessed and then rolled into happy planner and project lifing and so on and so forth. Um, so it's been a really crazy last year and a half. Um, which has left very little room for crafting, very little room for sanity. Um, so when I saw this, I kind of couldn't pass it up. Um, I hate to disappoint and tell you guys that it in fact came from a Nordstrom's rack. It was priced at like $10 and then rang up for five and I had a Nordstrom note. Um, so that was just, it had to happen. I loved it. Um, like I said, it's been a crazy year and a half. Personally and professionally, it's been hectic to say the least and convoluted and complicated and chaotic all really great adjectives um but basically I just saw the cover fell in love and decided that this is the way that I really wanted to go into 2018 and I really want to kind of wipe the slate clean and be really open-minded and really fair to myself um and just really be positive. And naturally, I'm kind of all bubbles and unicorn. Um, but I feel like this kind of helped to remind me. So one of the first things that I loved about it is the fact that it's hard hardcover and it's bound. And it has this beautiful gold-like paint on the side. And it also has that stretchy band, which I'm not going to pull on because it'll make her go crazy. Um, but I liked that. It was super uniform. I didn't have to worry about rings popping out or maintenance or feeling the need to like stuff it full. Um, my hopes for this are that it kind of combines my planner with a smash book. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I just kind of miss that junky, thick, I live life in this planner feel. And I feel like Happy Planner just got super structured. There were a lot of these high expectations of making it look super pretty and it wasn't fun anymore. It was all about like, instead of planning, let's do memory keeping. And I feel like there's so many memory keeping devices out there. Like it's not necessary to get that, um, anal about your planner, like enjoy it for what it is, be sloppy about it, live in it. I'm, I write really neat and I try my best to keep it really clean, but I just, and this is not me bashing all the people that keep it super neat and use it as memory keeping by all means, you know, eat your barbecue the way you want to. Um, but that, it just didn't work for me. And I just, I didn't, I wasn't happy with it. So I kind of wanted to take it back to basics and that's what this planner is all about. Wow. That's really What'd you say, Banksy? You let me turn the page? Okay. We're going to have to play with some lighting. There we go. Okay, so it's just a good little stripe page and contact information in the front. I keep thinking these pages are so much thicker than they really are. So it's making it really difficult to turn. Okay, so we have a weights and measurements side, which I think was really kind of nifty. And then we had signs of the zodiac and the dates. Um, it also gives you the birthstone and the flower, which I just think is cute. Um, this is the year at a glance, which is really nifty, but what's really cute is this, um, how they have the phases of the moon and the dates when you can expect full moon, no moon, etc. We have U.S. holidays for 2017 to 2018. I didn't realize when I bought this that it started in September until I actually opened it when I got it home and really went through it pretty hardcore. Um, and I didn't realize that it started that I had the month of August until today, went, right before I went to film the video. So I was a little bummed because I could have used the August as a test page. Um, so the very first thing that makes it a little bit different is it goes through all the months of 2017 and 2018 
for starters and it gives you a little note section. I really like this because when I want to plan for bills, I like to do it one right after the other after the other. And I like to know everything like that. So it made it really difficult because you would stamp or get everything ready and then you'd have to flip for a whole month to get to your next thing. Yeah, I know it's a tab, you flip it, it's fine. But to be able to see it at a quick glance without having to flip through all the weeks is really nifty. So I already like that. So I'm not gonna go through all the months, but it does go through all the months, same layout. So this is what a week by week layout looks like. It starts Monday, goes through Sunday. Um, I kind of wish it was undated, um, or at least, I really do love undated planners. I might even try Passion Planner after this one for a little while. I just want to see how it goes. Um, I like that the blocks for Saturday and Sunday are smaller because in reality, I use Sunday as a day with my boyfriend and Saturday I work retail. So I really don't like setting a ton of goals. Binks is not going to like this. She's been really good. The second video I tried to film, she like laid all over the planner. She might not be a fan of this. Yeah, that's usually what happens. So I try to like slowly move it out of her reach. But it just kind of goes week by week by week. There's no quotes, no muss, no fuss. I'm a pretty big fan. Okay, now we're kind of like creeping up on the end here. It actually goes all the way through that whole first... Well, it's the last week of December, first week of January. Banks, are you going to let mommy do this or no? Okay, dates to remember for 2017 and 2018. I really like this purely based on the fact of like... If a friend got married, I wanted to be able to go ahead and put it in here versus back at the beginning. So I think it's a good place for like memory keeping as well. And like fond memories. Like I want to remember when my bunny's birthday is and I want to remember when National Black Cat Awareness Day is. Like really stupid stuff. And then really great notes pages all the way to the end. Which I would really love to do some crazy stuff with. Whether it's like insert pockets whatever paper clip stuff glue stuff down I just think that there's a lot of potential with that too and then just a back cover and then like I said stretchy band like that was such a steal okay but yeah I'm really optimistic about this like I said it's all about I feel like your planner should reflect you and I feel like your planner should be your space so I used to be so like that person that would make it so perfect so I could show it off and film the videos and I really miss having a planner that I can work on privately and put information in and still feel like I can post videos. So I really look forward to playing in this and being able to give you guys good videos um, that are realistic and really showing how you can live in a planner. Um, I'm going to have to work out. I think one of the biggest struggles I have is I love you guys, but I don't need you guys to see all my personal stuff. So like when you're putting in bills and stuff and you're building a planner that you in fact can live in, it's really hard to then turn around and film it. So, um, that'll be a learning curve and a struggle like it's always been, but I definitely look forward to this planner and seeing what it does with me for the rest of this year. And you know, We'll give it a good college try and go back to the basics and kind of downsize a little bit. I know a really good girlfriend of mine, um, Taylor Ann, if you guys don't follow her, you should. She's amazing. She recently downsized as well. And we're just kind of pulling back a little bit on um, like happy planner things. I know she started doing um, travel journals and she's really been into that recently. And you'll get to see a travel journal travel between her and I soon. Um, but yeah. So here's to good vibes only, um, new planners, adorable black kittens, <laughs> and awesomeness to come. Thanks, guys. Have a great afternoon.